Hi. You will see here the installation and first time use of this appliance. Here is the washing machine. It has been connected to the power supply and is ready to use. I will just load my clothes in and then I will be turning it on. This here is the wheel to use to set the programs and to the right the black one is the familiar display as with any washing machines. You see writings on it but I'm also expecting illumination from the inside. What you see underneath the sink is the drainage system that a uh, gray tube comes from the washing machine. I've connected it but it's loose there. I didn't need to buy any adapter for the washing machine hose. You see that uh, gray hose, the gray bead with that uh, black one at its end they're all part of the of what came with the washing machine all I had to do was connect it to the white part of the drainage system under the uh, kitchen sink behind this drainage hose is another dark gray hose the smaller one which uh, comes from the top system came also with the washing machine There wasn't any power in the washing machine, so I had to remove the electrical wire from the wall above it and insert it into the socket there below the kitchen sink, right behind that hose, gray hose. Yeah, you can see that the machine has been connected and I've pushed it back where it belongs in uh, the usual location under the kitchen working table now i'll be loading some clothes in the machine and we'll be using it for the first time all right let's get to work It takes 10 kilograms of clothing, but I won't be using its full capacity. I'll just put anything for just for testing it. I've got here pearl seal crystals, or I'll say flakes, which I did use in the past. I would like to use it, but the machine, the manual says do not use crystals so I wonder what to do at the moment maybe I should try the powder I think this powder will be okay 
Let me show you how the crystals look like. Think of anything that looks like this in everyday use but if you have ever worked in a lab or been in a lab with chemicals in it you would remember having seen salts in this form or for example potassium hydroxide just like this I think I'll have to go for the order from uh shop here to get into this machine. Because I'm using powder here, I won't be needing that bit known as the detergent guide. That one there which uh, sits in the compartment, in the detergent compartment. Let me show you where exactly it should be. Right there. Its function is to control the flow of liquid detergents. When you use any of those, Change the socket or switch it on if it was off. Just found the switch for the washing machine wall main. It's the one right behind the machine. It was off, that was why I believe. I think no. Maybe it's just on, let me just switch it on because it was on when I turned it. Let me try it again. There you go, it's on now. can't get any closer because my camera battery is down. 
It's judging right now from the wall supply. Let me try and see what I can do from here. This is all right. try this super speed it's on already before that let me turn on the tap let's see where we go from here. i don't see any marking on the cycle wheel all right you just turn it and it jumps from one place to another yes this is what i want to do it's gonna take choosing the fast function. See, just turn the wheel and it, until the light showed on the super speed function option, and that says 59 minutes. My detergent is in the second compartment. I don't need any delay. And after washing, there's gonna be spinning. Temperature is 40. And it is the second program. It doesn't show there. But on the display, it is the second program. So, where's the start? There, what looks like a play button on record players or CD players. Let me just go ahead and press it. I hear the machine rumbling, but I don't hear any water. Where's the water? Yes, I see water coming out. Oh, the wind. It looks like the water fast passes through the first section of the detergent compartment before going on to the second one. So there shouldn't be any worry about it not uh, using detergent in the second uh, section. It has started working. How wonderful is that? You have to be careful that the other tube there, the one it looks loose. So I've got to be careful that it doesn't come off. I miss my own floor. What's that inside the machine? Oh! It is that uh, pink kind of ribbon that's found in plastic bags. Just happened to be at uh, the clothes in a plastic bag, one of those garbage uh, plastic bags that happened to have that uh, pink ribbon in it, and that's what is in the machine at the moment. About that drainage hose, I'm concerned about it coming off. Oh, good. Uh... I think what I should do is just tie it up using tape, just to be on the safe side.
see this tape here this is what i'm gonna use it's one of those strong duct tapes and it will keep the water in the hose so far so good no problem no problem 10 minutes gone keeps flushing there which is normal In the dark, this is how it is, it just keeps glowing. But there isn't enough light for you to see. Nine minutes to go. Machine has started spinning and look here. You can hear it it's so powerful, I could hear it in the room. Shaking everything. It's not good. The location isn't good. 10 minutes to go. Nineteen minutes. So shaky there. Oh my god. Wow. It's not level. I need to put something or adjust the legs. I have turned a screw on one front leg on this side and it looks like this has stabilized it a little let's see the next spinning round Spinning round started. 14 minutes to go.
the manual says that when uh, spinning like this, um, the sound level is 73 decibels, which is slightly above conversation level. And when it's, it's washing, it should be around 49 decibels. Right now, what we are seeing must be above 73 decibels because, you know, if you look at the space where it is in, it fits in tightly. That's why it's bouncing on the walls and the floor. There's an alarm on it, alerting me. It stops by itself. Wonderful. Let's open the hatch. Clothes not clean. Looks like the one hour program has done a great job. Here are the clothes, the uh, just came out of the spinning system. Look at how close to dry the uh, t shirt, pair of trousers there, and a shirt. Just keep it on the balcony for a few minutes. I mean, uh, until morning, if it doesn't rain. So it's gonna dry anyway uh, in the next coming hours, uh, 24 hour, 48 hours. The following is a preview of what you will see in the next short video which is about the stability of the washing machine. I was able to adjust the legs and that's what you're gonna see in the next video. This time there isn't any shaking.
as you see here, there is spinning going on, but I don't hear any shaking as it was in the uh, last washing round.